What's up guys, we're back again with another Tampa Bay Buccaneers draft prospect breakdown. And today is Jacob Eason, quarterback out of Washington. Obviously everyone knows him for his rocket arm that he has, six foot six, 231 pounds. Average hand size, nine and a half. Everyone has that hand size, I guess, fetish. <laughs> but 489 isn't that bad for a guy that size. Let's look at him overall as a player. First things first I see is the NFL comparison of Carlson Palmer. Elite size and arm strength, obviously you see that, you're going to see that in tape. But plus, what do you see from him? Yeah, I mean, when, when I look at Eason, I mean, he's a guy, like you said, he's got a, a cannon for an arm. He can make all the throws. Uh, he, he knows how to, you know, get rid of the ball quickly if needed to. Um, he does a good job of, I mean, he throws it pretty accurately. Um, it's just when he's under pressure, uh, he gets a little er erratic and tends to make sometimes, you know, bad decisions with the football. Sometimes holds on to it way too long than he should. Um, so he just needs to do a better job of his mental processing and, and getting uh, a better understanding of how defenses work and understanding when to get rid of the ball and, and when to hold it, um, you know, going forward. But for the most part, he, he's a really good prospect. I think he's got all the things you want in a quarterback. It's just fine tuning those um, things between the ears and, and understanding, you know, what to do with the football more consistently. Yeah, so if you look at a lot of these strengths and weaknesses that they have in NFL.com's profile, he literally fits a lot of things that this Buccaneer offense does, the Bruce Arians offense scheme. I mean, he has that deep ball accuracy. Obviously, we like to throw the deep ball. He has a cannon for an arm, arm strength, challenge secondary anywhere on the field. These are things that Bruce Arians like to do, push the ball, right? But like you were saying, weaknesses is holding on to the ball too long. We've seen that already for five years and just decision-making when under pressure. But again, this is a younger guy where he doesn't have bad habits yet, and hopefully that can be corrected, especially with the so-called QB whisperer. But enough of us talking about him. Let's see what he's all about. Okay, guys, we got a few games to go over with Jacob Eason. It's a quarterback, so there's a lot of things to go into. But let's start breaking it down right now. So Jacob Eason against Arizona. Here he is, nice little play action. The Bucks like play action. Lasers this bad boy across the field. Again, opposite hash. Deep throw to his tight end. Easy completion. What do you see, Plus? Yeah, I mean, first thing you see, I mean, is good footwork here. I like how he, he extends the play action. And then, obviously, sees his tight end going to, you know, the left hash. And makes a nice throw, you know, going to the opposite side of the field. Yeah, I mean, just look at the... Everyone's going to say this because everyone loves this damn arm strength he has that's a long throw that's let's see 10 20 25 almost 30 yards down the field i mean that's a hard throw to make opposite hash but again this is the type of throws he's going to be able to make let's keep going through again a little play action what i like most about this is how much he read the play this is a funny part how many reads he went through but again what the hell is this ref doing <laughs> The shit you see on video. <laughs> yeah, he clearly got in the way of that one. Right? But, I mean, look at... He's actually reading everything. So, he, you run it through, play action. First read is this quick initial receiver here. Then, after that, he's going to look at number two going up the field. Both those get covered. Then, he has three coming across the field. And the last option, dragging all the way deep post down the field. So, and then slowly. Watch. One, two, three, four. And then obviously the ref blows it. And then look at it from the different angle. No, oh, I forgot that one. But I mean, just, just reading the progressions, going through it. Obviously he had time, so good for him. But again, the ability to deliver a ball that down on the field. If the ref isn't there, completion. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going through. You're going to see a lot of arm strength, but I'll let you break down this one. Yeah, I mean this. I mean this shows his toughness inside the pocket, and you like to see him here again. He's waiting till that last second, and he does a good job of getting rid of the football here, and throwing it accurately too, and hits hits the guy. Again, he anticipates, and he throws to a spot which you like to see, and a nice completion here um, to number two. I think that's number two at the yeah. bottom. Aaron Fuller. Yep. This dude had some highlight catches in this breakdown. You're gonna see. Yeah, so again, back to Jacob Eason. I mean, you, you like to see that. And again, it's showing his toughness. 
And, you know, we've seen that a couple of times on tape, but really good job. Okay, so just watch this dude's coming in, free rusher. Getting rid of the ball right before he's about to get nailed. His whole body is up, up for grabs, nailed. Good completion. And then catchable ball right in the guy's chest. Gets down inside the five. Good play. Again, another one to really like. Free rusher. Doesn't get phased. Delivers the ball. Easy touchdown. But, I mean, quickly reads the ball, too. I mean, play action. Rolling around. Guy's in his face. I mean, and he's not goofy. I mean, something that we saw with Winston, he's a little goofy, but he still could make the play. At 6'6", 230, Easton can deliver. I mean, he's not Mike Vick by any means, but he gets the job done. Yeah, what I really like is how he, he, he really sells the play action fake too. And here you see him, you know, this is a nice, you know, nice ball down the sideline, fade route. But I just like how he sells the play action, does a really good job there. And then just nice, easy delivery um, let, lets this guy make a play. Yeah, and they do do a lot of play action RPO stuff, but nice, easy delivery. Not everything's a cannon. Like that's a lot of people think, oh, he just throws cannon balls. I mean, yeah, this, this is, is throw with yeah, throwing with anticipation. He's throwing to a spot as well, which I really like. Yeah, the um, really receiver's good. making damn good play too, but still. Right, right. But it's still it's a it's a play where he can he can go get it, and uh, you know you give your guys you're, you give your guy a chance. And he's watching yeah. the safety too. Like, okay, I'm watching the safety. Okay, he's still in the middle of the field. The outside hash is going to be open. Throw it to where only my guy can get it. Right. Does a really good job of yeah keeping his head in the middle. That's what you want to see. Okay, here we go. That play action sell it again. Yeah, really right. good job. That's called driving the damn ball. <laughs> That's a really good throw. Yeah. Again, he's throwing to a, an area where only his guy can go get it, and I really like that. He knows he's got single coverage over the top here. Pretty much can place it you know, out there and lets this guy go make a play. Yeah, I mean, look, there's no safety, no safety help. When you get around, look, middle of the field, nothing's there. So you have time for to let this play develop. My guy's cutting. I'm already going to start making the throw. Throw it to where only my guy can get it. Use his body to his advantage. Right. Huge exactly. game. Yeah, really good play. And a different angle. Again, you're going to see his, his eyes reading the play. Nothing's there in the middle of the field. Fine, I'm going to take it. Yeah, really good job. Play action to no one, but check this throw out. Yeah, that's nice. a perfect throw. Again, I believe that's... That's Aaron Fuller again. Yeah, really good play. Um, yeah, just a subtle fake, but I just like his easy delivery there. He's got a really nice... He's got really nice throwing mechanics and does a really good job with setting his feet. And when his feet are set, he's very accurate. And the big thing I see with him is if it's the first read, he's usually going to make a really damn good throw. His first read and go, like, oh, there's no one there? Fine, I'm just going to deliver a perfect ball, loft that thing. Look at the space. I mean, there's no one yeah. there. It's Only really my good. guy's going to get that. Yeah. Throwing it literally to the pylon. <laughs> that is a great throw. Yeah, that's that's what you want to see. Quarterback breakdown's fun. I'm sorry. Like, you <laughs> see is. so much. You see the receivers, the quarterback. Yeah, here's another one. Jeez. Again, throwing to a spot. Again, maybe one, you want him to maybe throw it a little bit more out there, but does a great job. Again, under pressure, takes a hit. Yeah, and, but, but look at this. I mean, again, just easy read of, oh, the safety is all the way in the middle of the damn field. How the hell is he going to be able to catch up to this guy on the outside? Right. He can't. He just yeah. physically can't get over there. So throw it to a spot where my guy has a chance. Yeah, he could have made it, like you were saying, let him a little bit better, but mm -hmm. that's a great throw. And then the receiver just – Finds a way. Yeah, makes a really nice play after the catch. And a lot of the things he's just reading, okay, it's a man defense. My guy's coming over. So if it's man, there's only one deep safety. And he's not shading over. I mean, look, look at the first thing he looks at after the snap. Right at the safety. Mm -hmm. Right? And then, okay, fine. My guy's open. One-on-one, -on -one, I'll take it. Yeah, you, you like it. I mean, he, he does a really good job of, of pre-snap. I mean, here we go again. Ooh, crazy. Nice throw. And look at all the defenders in there. I mean, obviously it's zone. So again, he's throwing to an area. 
there's one, two, three guys that are going to be in this little triangle, and he throws right in the middle of it. Yeah, gets hit too as he throws. Let's check this out. I didn't see the hit. Play action. Every damn thing's a play action. Oh, this is the next play. All right, this is actually a bad play. Play action. Where is he staring the whole time? Oh. Yeah. So. You're pretty much locked on to Hunter Bryant there. A lot of people would argue that that's his only target he had. Aaron Fuller was damn good. But, I mean, the safety was just reading this the whole way. Yeah. You're going to stare down a receiver. Guy's going to take advantage of it. Knock it up. Interception. And, and that's what we talk about, you know, when we get to, you know, his processing, mental processing. It needs to be a little bit quicker. Yeah, I mean, processing and just knowing the defense that's in front of you. But again, right. like more of the compliments of his arm strength. How you easy. Can see it. You can see it there. Yeah. I mean, how easy can you make an out route from the opposite hash look? I mean, again, 5, 10, 15, 20 yard throw. And then not to mention to the sidelines. That's a deep ass throw. Like anyone can undercut that if you don't have, have arm strength. And the corner's looking at the, on the cut, he sees it, but it's too late. He can't recover. And I like this little Fuller guy, but we're talking Eason right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you talk about laser throw. I mean, again, getting hit Why he's throwing this. Again, I like how he looks to the right, comes back to the left, and you can't place it any better than that. I mean, that's a perfect pass. And it's even leading the guy right to his right to the numbers. Yep. God. That's that's really good. I mean, that's where arm talent gets you out of trouble, but this is also where you can make incredible throws with that arm talent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is why, I mean, he's talked about, you know, going as high as maybe first round and maybe second round as well, so... Because the thing is, he has all the traits. I mean, look at that damn cannon. I mean, he yeah. has everything you want. Size, strength, or strength, arm strength, and ability to make these throws anywhere on the field. It's just, I guess the biggest question mark is work ethic. And that's something we wanted to talk about. I mean, everyone's going to say, oh, he left Georgia because of it. No, he left Georgia because Jake Fromm took over an injury. I mean, damn, the way he can drive that ball. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I mean, work ethic is huge. I mean, that's, that's going to make the difference between a good player and a great player. And this is another one. So, literally, he's getting all this help from the coaches and quarterbacks on the sideline where we're saying mental processing. They threw an all-out blitz. But, again, look at the sideline. Look what everyone's telling. Like, people are jumping on the sideline. Let's roll this back. So, yeah, you see your, your head coach or whoever the hell this is jumping mm-hmm. up and down. Then you have all these co- – quarterbacks yelling so he's looking over and i'm like what the hell are you talking about like dude it's they're blitzing they're coming at you everyone's filling in the a gaps b gaps everything's coming your way so you're gonna have to get rid of this ball fast and if it's one-on-one like i was saying earlier and it's a one read throw jacob easton can deliver right on the money and then it's just a playmaker making a good play i just thought i just wanted to add this because of how much you see in the sideline, but you're not going to have sideline help in the NFL. You're going to have to read it yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, again, yeah, that's just good understanding. I mean, he knows, you know, he's got the slant, he hits it, but we just got to get that processing a little bit quicker, a little bit faster going forward. Yeah. Again, I love his play action fake. He does a really good job there. Ken. Oh, this is yeah. that that same yeah. play, but different angle. Interception, yep. I pooped the shoot on that one. <laughs> it's fine. But, I mean, just, yeah, like you're saying, play action sells it well, but, again, yeah, a little look bit at too all late. the guys around that yeah. area. I mean, yeah. too late on this throw. And then this is the guy that ends up catching it. <laughs> right. It's just way too, yeah, too, way too many guys, way too easily read, interception. Luckily, and then everyone wants to talk about how the quarterback gives no effort. Why the, Why should he give that much effort? Because he's going to get run over like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, this game, he just threw all over the damn field. So, guys, get happy on seeing this dude make some incredible throws. This is one where Plus actually put on Twitter a little while ago. So, just reading the defense, zone, throwing into an 
an area in the zone. So I'll let you break it down better. Yeah, just a really good job. The guy's going in motion. Uh, he understands they're in zone defense. Once he sees the motion going across, no one follows. So he, he kind of understands he's going to have a window here. Does a great job of anticipating it and throwing it to a spot. Really nice play. All right. Again, like you said, no one drags across. So that easily tells you, okay, they're in zone. These are, th- these are things that you want to see quarterback read. Okay, he's in zone. This is my first read. It's going to be open in that little zone that I know. And hit it. I mean, again, perfect right in the middle where only he can make a play. Really like that play. Again, it's Eastern, Eastern Washington, but still. this is You still have to make the plays, make the, the throws. I don't care what competition it is. Yeah, this one's a nice one, a double move on the outside. Again, perfect placement. Again, where only his guy can get it, which is really nice. So, yeah, okay. really nice. I think that's Fuller again, just yep. making a great job of nice cut. Easton knows he's got the outside corner here. This thing is, what, 10, 20, and then it's also to the sideline. That's, that's right. a, that is a deep-ass throw again. Yeah, but it's thrown with touch, you know, and that's what I like to see. He knows how to put – you know, he knows when to put speed on it, and he knows when to put touch. That's that's really cool to see. And it's the same play, different angle. He knows yeah. it's man, guy's dragging, reads it. Safety's still in the middle of the field. Okay, I got my man one-on-one. Yeah. Throw it to a spot where only he can catch it. Yeah, Look at him extending, making the play. Really nice. Right? Again, like, first read, he can make a damn good throw. And then Fuller getting cocky. <laughs> <laughs> I love this play here. Play action. Throwing a cannon. It's disgusting. Touchdown. Yeah, really nice. Again, he just does a great job of selling the play action. I like how he reads. He usually reads middle of the field. Yeah. And then he's able to adjust to the right here. And just, he knows he got him over the top. Perfect pass. Touchdown to check down. Yep. And then here, like. Oh, God, Fuller just, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know who really he was good. before this. I mean, it's not just Eason making the throw. you got to catch the ball. But cool thing is, catches a guy off sides. He knows he has a free play. Okay, it's not just throwing it up. It's throwing it up to where my guy has a shot. God, that's a good catch. Yeah, really good. Got the one foot down. That's all you need. He did get, draw a lot of off sides. Free play. Again, I'm going to pause this. One-handed. Uh, yeah. yeah. God. That's good. <laughs> Touchdown is good. <laughs> I keep going. Yeah. That this damn play, play action fake. This play here. Yeah, I like that too. You know, guy rolling across. Again, he's moving, moving to the right here. Does a really good job of just, you know, setting his feet. Okay, how many options you got? You got one. Two and three, I believe this is how you're going to read it. Yeah. I mean, looking at the routes, short, okay, there's a guy there. Deep, he could have thrown it deep, actually. That guy's opening up. Mm-hmm. But still, middle of the field. And then just look at the mechanics of on the on the run. This is where I like the, the angle. So we're going to do a play-action fake. Yeah. Get your head around. Short pass, let me look a little bit further. He sees his option. Look at how he gets his hips around and faces it towards the receiver. That's a good, smooth transition. Right on the money. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have to slow down. It looks natural. I mean, the guy's 6'6", six, six, moving around. And people say he doesn't have the size, escapability, but you don't need necessarily need that. If you're making good throws like that, you don't really need it. Right. Yeah, here it is again. Just another good throw, letting his guy make a play. And then, yeah, outside the numbers. There's it to his spot. Again, Fuller, Fuller making an amazing throw, a catch. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I like his accuracy. You know, when when he has time, when he has time to deliver, he throws a very accurate ball. Very catchable football as well. Yeah, outside the numbers, no one else is going to catch that ball. It's either my guy or no one. Again, Fuller just... Yeah, but overall, let's go over what we saw about Jacob Eason and give our player grades. Okay, Plas, overall, what do you think of Jacob Eason? Yeah, I mean, Jacob, I think he's got a lot of tools that you like. Again, that's why I say he's got 
he's in play for, you know, first round pick, uh, because he's just got a lot of tools that you can work with. I think he's got everything you want in a quarterback. And I think it's just a little things where he needs to mature. I think he needs some more experience overall in the, at the position. Again, he's only, you know, one time, full-time starter one year at Washington. I know he played at Georgia, I think for 11 games, but you know, then the next year got hurt, but Overall, I think he's got a lot that you like. It's just fixing some little things, whether it be, you know, the mental processing that you got to clean up and get faster. But I, I like I like his skill set for sure. And I think if you have him, you know, behind a Tom Brady, I think he can learn and, and become something, you know, that you could work with down the road. Yeah, I, I, I agree in a lot of those points. I mean, some may even say, okay, he's got comparable traits to Jameis Winston. And the fact that he can make any throw, he can deliver the ball to any area of the field. Sometimes he throws a little too hard, I guess. But the thing is, if he does get drafted with the Buccaneers in the second round, he can actually sit and wait and develop. Jameis didn't have that luxury. And maybe he wouldn't have those same bad habits that he has today if he had the opportunity to sit and to learn. And Jacob Beeson, again, his knock is work ethic as well. That's a big, big thing where it sucks based off of this pandemic that they couldn't really evaluate a player that well. I mean, all we heard was in the NFL scouting combine that he didn't interview well. What does that really mean? We don't know. I mean, maybe they're asking him questions and he just didn't answer them correctly. I mean, this is like immaturely. I don't know. But on the field, you can see everything you want in a quarterback. I mean, maybe Ryan Leaf showed the same damn thing. It's just maturation of a quarterback and not being a whiner and he was a little partier in college as well but mechanic wise like you got it all just like Jameis Winston has it's can he mature more and take it to the next level and take this job seriously and if he's in the second round I wouldn't be upset I mean some would say find more weapons for Brady but I would say that's a hell of a player to put behind Brady to eventually take over for the future but other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the player breakdown. And if you liked it, make sure to like down below, subscribe, leave your comments. If you hate our opinion, tell us. We'll, we'd love to enjoy conversation of everything. Other than that, go Bucks and enjoy the video.